Hi, I want to have a closer look at the Lib Peer to Peer project which span off from the Interplanetary File System project and try to make a simple chat app. So there is a GitHub for the JavaScript implementation. In the examples folder, there is a example of using it in a browser. We can have a look at this file. In the docs section, there is a getting started readme file. There's quite a lot of imports here. And the getting started readme goes through each of these. We've got the import of the main package. Then we've got a WebSockets package for transport. And then we've got a package for encrypting. And then a multiplexing package, which efficiently lets the node use different protocols over a single connection. And then peer discovery is an important part of creating a well-connected lib peer-to-peer -peer node. If your application is browser-based, you can use the web RTC star transport. The bootstrap module is apparently useful for joining a public network. So I will copy and paste this in my start function. These addresses are signaling servers and there's a public test server that you can use. Okay, got a um, some event listeners here. So listen for new peers. Listen for new connections. One thing I like to do when playing around with a new library is put in a breakpoint and then in the console you can just look around the object. So I'm going to want to get the peer ID. So I've printed out the peer ID. Next I want an input so we can input another peer ID. Okay, so I've added a text input for the other peer ID and a submit button which we'll call find function which hasn't been completed yet. So let me start both the nodes and we've got two different peer IDs. Now because there's an event listener logging when peers join, and connections are made, the second peer ID should be logged to the console. So what I found just looking at this node object is that the nodes store the addresses of the peers in a address book. And if we go to the GitHub, here we've got the API for the peer store. We can add to the address book and we can check to see if a peer ID is in the address book. Now the peer ID to pass this function can't be a string, it needs to be a peer ID object. lib peer to peer forward slash peer ID. So there's a function called peer ID from string. ID from string. And then call this function which checks to see if the peer ID is in the store. Yes, peer ID found. Okay, so next we need to send messages between the peers. Lib peer to peer has a messaging API which is uh, somewhat similar to MQTT messaging. So back on the GitHub. In the examples folder, we have pub sub, publish subscribe, and here we've got an example. So set up the node, and then we we set up event listeners for a message and subscribe to a certain topic, and then we can publish data to a topic. So back on the GitHub under the pub and subscribe examples, it mentions there's more than one module that can be used. I am going to copy their example that they have and use this module. 
So make sure you install that, import it, and add it to your node config. Next, I've added a message log and a text input to input a message. So when I start the node, I'm also going to subscribe to a topic. And then whenever I input the data in this text box by hitting this button here, I call this send function, which calls publish, which sends the message and then just appends it to the message log that I keep. So let me start these two nodes. Hello. Here we are, we're in business. Hello world. Lib Peer to Peer is a very impressive project and worth checking out. They're doing an amazing job at accelerating the adoption of decentralized applications. Um,